Good morning everyone and welcome back to another vlog. So it's Friday, me, Megan and Hattie don't have any uni today, we're not in for lectures or anything, so we've all got the day off and we've decided to book our tattoo. We booked it on Wednesday I think and we literally are going probably in like 20 minutes leaving. Um, we're going to the Gilded Quill. It's on the high street. We heard some good things about it. We know a few people that have had tattoos there. And to be honest, our first tattoo that we're getting together, it's all matching. Which some of you might be like, what the hell, what's wrong with you? But I know I'm going to be friends for life with Megan and Hattie, so um, you can judge me all you want. <laughs> so yeah, we're getting matching tattoos and it's tiny and it's on our ankle. So any tattoo place could do it really easily. It's very simple. It's very small. So we didn't really need to do so loads of research on it. Um, like I would if I was getting like a big tattoo or an intricately shaded tattoo. Um, it's all of our first one, so we're all a little, well, I'm a little bit nervous this morning. Like, I was super excited all leading up to it, and then now it's happening today, I feel a bit like, shit, like, I'm actually getting a tattoo that's going to be permanently on me. Like, we woke up in Megan's bed this morning because we went out last night, if you've seen the previous vlog, and Megan was like, we're going to have these tattoos on our wedding days, and also when we die. I was like, Jesus Christ. We always take things too far. Getting our tattoo today, so the next clip you probably will see is either us shitting ourselves on our way to the tattoo parlour or at the tattoo place getting our tattoos, which is so scary because as soon as I come back, I will have a permanently inked thing on my ankle. Yeah, we were originally supposed to get them on our wrist or our think. well, we were originally going for fingers, then we went to wrist and now we've gone ankle just because we think it's just a simple place, it's out the way, it's for our first one, it's kind of a bit more reassuring having it on our ankle but I definitely want to get some wrist tattoos and I, I've started to want them on my fingers and I know that's very like you either love it or hate it but I just would quite like some finger tattoos like I think they look sick with rings so I don't know I don't know if it's very me but I think it will look cool so maybe I'll get that in the future who knows I might absolutely hate my experience today and never want another one so yeah literally no one knows about it I haven't told anyone I don't think I just told my mum I was like oh there's something exciting happening tomorrow I'll message you later so she probably has an idea that I'm either getting a piercing or a tattoo um but I'll probably get everyone's reactions um later yeah I'll get everyone's reactions on camera if I facetime everyone um and I'll tell you show you what my mum and like my brother and dad and stuff think about the tattoo it's happening <laughs> we're off to get our tattoo Looking like rough little bitches. Yeah, I feel fucking so nervous, but everyone's gonna be like, why are you feeling nervous no, no, when they see it? Let's wear a cool outfit. It'll be so small. The next video will be us getting tattered. Getting buzzed. Getting buzzed up. Getting <laughs> Can't wait for my ink. <laughs> I've got a urine It's fine. No, I'm actually not fine. No, it's absolutely fine. I think there's loads of stuff there. I don't know. There's nothing there. What do you think of the eye? What do you think of the eye? Right, so we're now in Primark. Um, we just had a tattoo and we can't stop thinking about it. Oh we're literally telling all our families now. I'll hopefully get I their just reaction told, later. I my family group chat and my dad was like, what the fuck have I just watched? <laughs> we all filmed it, so like... I don't get why they care so much. Like, yeah, because it's my body, man. I'm not, put, I'm not just put that tattoo on you, it's on me. <laughs> <laughs> it's nice how it's like black underneath yeah. and it's not all it's so like intense. <laughs> oh, and these, look. Hey look, there's some like leafy throws. How cute are those? Look. Leafy throws. But anyway, yeah. The pain was like absolutely fine. Like I, I literally built it up so much in my head um, that it was going to be the most painful thing ever and it was absolutely fine. It was, fine, like, it was so. actually like if you had a deep scratch. Like it reminded me of like when you were you used to ride a bike when you were younger and you'd like get the pedals and the pedals. Like a graze. Sort yeah. of a graze, but then someone like... Just like a deep cut. Yeah. 
it was fine. It was absolutely fine. I definitely recommend. And it was, to be fair, it was a tiny tattoo. Like, I know people are going to be like, what's wrong with you? <laughs> You'll probably have, like, a massive one. But, yeah. It's true. Oh, uh, what? <laughs> right, she needs some help. Oh, That's cute. Yeah, I want that. That's a £5 thing. Yeah, get that. I, thought, I like it with the little brightening on it. That's cute. And then That's, I, I want something like that. And this is so cute. <laughs> Wait, yeah. what does it say? It's just Mary Poppins. Mary Poppins. Oh, yeah. No, you need it like No, that's cute. I love that hat. That'll yeah. look so nice on you. I was looking for one. I don't know about that. Oh, mm. oh look. Oh, look how red my cheeks oh. are. You look like a filter. Oh, my God. You look like, like a, um, a blushing. Wait, whoa, it's like, an, it's like, that's so weird because it's like perfectly symmetrical, it's like a doll. My skin is so red anyway, so. Oh, right, before we start talking about the tattoo, I thought I would address the awful customer service in town today, two places, well, yours was not as bad hat in Tesco, it was still fucking rude. But so, after the tattoo, we literally went into town because we need to return some stuff in a few places. And on the way back, we went into Holland and Barrett because I wanted to get loads of healthy snacks. Um, I literally had a handful in, like, I was literally like, picking stuff off, off the shelves because I just wanted some healthy snacks for every really shit over the past couple of days. And there's a woman in there who I've reported before because she's been so incredibly rude. Like, I wouldn't have reported, do you know what I mean? I wouldn't have gone out my way last time to report her. I can't remember the exact thing she did, but it was just really, like, rude and, um, just not very nice, like, not very pleasant, like, when I'm buying stuff from the, that shop. And it's, like, a really small, um, shop as well. And, um... Last one I didn't really think about saying much on my vlog. I don't even know if I did because I was thinking, oh, she could have had a bad day. Like, I've been in a mood before and, do you know what I mean? Like, everyone has bad days when they're in a mood. But, like, there still was no reason to be that horrible to someone who hadn't done anything wrong. Do you know what I mean? so incompetent. Yeah. <laughs> um... Do you know what I mean? Like, even if you're in a bad mood, you're not that rude to someone who's no, absolutely done absolutely, like done like absolutely like nothing like wrong to you. Mood. Yeah, and, um, I'm not bad mood, I don't say stuff up. Yeah, so first thing, we literally went in, I was picking up snacks off the shelf, she bumped into me, like, wasn't self-aware of, like, her space, which is one of my biggest pet peeves. Um, no, <laughs> it's one of my biggest pet peeves when people just are not spatially aware. And she bumped into me, like, quite, quite hard twice, and I apologised, even though she bumped into me. And we moved into the corner where we were looking at the, well, Megan and Hat were looking at the freezer stuff and I was like behind them and the staff door was like next to the freezer stuff. And what did she do? So she walked up, didn't she? She walked up to yeah, us, stood was... still and just went, I uh, need to get to that door. Well, I need to get to that door as if we were supposed to know that's where she was going. Yeah, yeah. Cause we, I think we moved up the way so she could go around the shelves. Yeah. Cause she, well, yeah. I don't know, we didn't know she was I moved closer to the freezer, but that was like more in the way. Yeah, she was like, I need to get to that door. And like pointing at it, she was like, "I want it. I need to get there." Yeah. And then she like, like she pulled the door open and turned around and gave like she looked to look up and down. She went, Ugh. Yeah, she went, "Ugh." Because I was like, "Can she open woman the door?" Well. And it hit into my handbag, and I was just like. Yeah, the fuck she's an old woman in there. She's honestly awful, like shit customer service. We're gonna complain again because I literally put my, we all put our stuff down and like left the shop. We didn't want to buy anything from there because it's just awful. The other people who work there are so nice, aren't they? Like, every other person I've been served by has been lovely and just like chatty mm -hmm. and friendly and like inviting. And she is literally the worst. Like always, so so rude. So definitely need to sort that out if Holden and Barrett are watching. <laughs> I need to sack her, like she's actually disgusting. It's really bad. Her behaviour is disgusting. Because we were going to buy all that stuff. Yeah. And we just, we're like, I was like, I can't, I don't want to be in here. No. Someone's going to be that rude to her. Disgusting. And we should have, like, we were saying we should have said something back, but then Meg made a good point like and that. said we shouldn't, we shouldn't have said it. a bigger person. I'm yeah. Like, do what you want, bitch. bitch. I'm not the one going to hell at the end of the day. <laughs> <laughs> that and then we were also saying on the way home that we should have made a New Year's resolution to not get so irate <laughs> over yeah. m like people who are irrelevant to us because <laughs> we get so angry. Are irrelevant, like our families. Yeah, <laughs> we get so angry because of our families judging the tattoo. <laughs> so funny. Oh, and then in Tesco, what happened to you, Hart? Um, no, it was just it was rude. <laughs> it, it was um, I went up to the counter and there's a sign like it's not directly on, on my till saying contacts not available. And then when I went to pay with my car, it came up like light contactless was available. So I just thought I'd try it. And it was not available. And I turned to his like colleague colleague, and was like, we should wear t-shirts. They know it's not available. I was like, Jesus, okay. Yeah, or at least say it quieter so you can't hear. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I mean? Like, that's rude. People have just been arseholes today. But at the end of the day, we're the better people here. Mm -hmm. We're amazing <laughs> in every way possible. Yeah. 
and we're going to live a long, happy and successful life. Um, also, tattoo about that. It was fine. We were waiting in there for a while because he, like, he had to set up everything and he was like missing a few things, weren't he? Yeah. We were just waiting for half an hour, but we didn't have anywhere to go. And then he literally did us one by one. Like he, inked, what was it? What did he do first? Yeah, print. Like a little yeah. print thing that he'd made, and so he could know where to go with the pen. Yeah, and then literally we all just started getting them done, and it literally took, I'd say, thirty seconds, like mm. thirty, yeah, forty it seconds. Was, it, it wasn't was even a minute. Long. No, it wasn't. Um, to do the tattoos, and when he first went in, I was actually like expecting some sort of excruciating pain that was gonna was make me shock. I, I, I was still like, uh, yeah, I just imagined it it's like someone going, it's just like a gash, like when you get a gash on your phone, it's, yeah. like, it's just. Like, but it hurt, but it's not. Yeah, painful. just felt. Yeah, like Lily said to me, did it hurt? I was like, yeah, but it wasn't like, ow. It, it wasn't, wasn't like, ow, I can't handle it. Yeah, like none of us made a noise from it, did mm. we? It's not like we were like, mmm. It's just the same as like if you. Because why I expected me yeah, to be really like. Bad <coughs> bruise or something. Like, yeah. It hurt. Yeah. Yeah. It hurt more me falling down the stairs the other day. I can imagine 100%. like if you're going the big one, how it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that's so what I was it's thinking. Hard. Yeah. And then if it was like, obviously, on your ribs or somewhere that's really painful yeah the guy who did it had one on his hand and he said that his that was palm, his yeah. yeah his palm and he said that was really painful and he said someone had had their balls done that would kill <gasps> and it was like the scrotum yeah the saggy bit yeah they must have like had to pull it out like to make it like flat it's all imagine letting your like balls out on the counter do you mind tattooing my balls like you can't mm. expect someone to be like yeah, yeah. strange one mm. Strange one, but yeah, um, it, if you're ever thinking about getting a tattoo and you're worried about the pain, because that's literally the, one of the reasons why I haven't properly yeah. sat down and considered getting one myself. Oh, that was no worse than the piercing. No, no way. No. It's like similar to like no. a sharp, obviously a piercing's over a bit quicker. Yeah. But it's the same pain. But like right now, level. right now doesn't hurt Nothing. at all for you guys. Yeah, it just no. stung a bit afterwards. Yeah, stu it stung, it hurt, I think it hurt after. more. Oh, immediately yeah. after because I could like it yeah, felt like a yeah. like a, pe a really big paper cut on my ankle yeah. that's what it felt like but the pain they like, can't really explain it as it's happening but he did say it's like similar to someone putting a needle on sunburn if you know what I mean so yeah it was fine and we'll show you the tattoo in a minute because we it's all like cling filmed up I'll show you it's all like cling filmed up here um, but we're going to take these off in a second give them a wash and then we'll show you properly what they look like See, there's a bit of blood there. Nice. Oh my god! What? It's so exciting! So, I've just washed and moisturised. Um, it's obviously a bit inky at the minute. He obviously had to ink us before so that he could use it as a trace. Yeah. Um, but, here it is. Here's the finished product. Megan's still got hers wrapped up over there. I'm too scared. Because she's too scared to get it off yet. But, um... Yeah, here it is. I'll show you them all together later when we take the photos of them. We'll have to get my light out and everything. I can't believe that just happened. Oh, and I'm also looking on Pinterest for more tattoos now. Because um, the guy said it's a gateway drug and it's true. I love that and I also love that. Yeah, that, they're the two that I was looking at. Well, that's the same one, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, I really want uh, like a ballet one on my foot somewhere. And I really like this sort of idea. Or like the little ballerina, I don't know. I quite I quite like that one actually as well. Obviously that's a massive, but like say so that was small. Yeah. It's like missing lines and stuff. It's quite yeah, cute. It's quite cool. hmm. A lot of time has passed since the last time I vlogged. Literally been doing basically nothing. Just editing, exporting, uploading, just doing lots of work like work for my blog. Like just really nothing interesting for you guys. So I'm really sorry about that. I really hope you've enjoyed today's vlog though. Obviously we've got our tattoo which is pretty insane like for a lot of people I know it'll be small or a lot of people will think it's a silly decision and everyone will have their opinions but at the end of the day we're all so so happy with how it's gone we got exactly what we wanted from it and we absolutely love we absolutely love them we've just been like reading up about like making sure we care for them properly and stuff so that they don't get infected um, because we're all so new to this we don't want to fuck it up um, and me and Hattie have already like have been on it looking for more tattoos already which I know like my mum will probably be like what are you doing <laughs> but um I don't know I just think tattoos are a lovely way to express yourself I know that a lot of people do say that but I just think it, if I like them and I want them on my body then I can do what I want you know um, but I only want like little thin ones I think um, I wouldn't suit anything too intense and if I I don't really like 
them personally I like I wouldn't want them on me like I think they look great on other people but I just wouldn't personally want them I really like really thin intricate like finger tattoos um I really want something behind my ear I have ideas for what I want behind my ear and then what I want on my other ankle I don't know I just quite like little minimalistic tattoos so I've already made like a little Pinterest board so you can go follow me on Pinterest if you're on there not a lot of people use it anymore I feel but um, I really love it. I use it for a lot of my blog stuff and for inspiration. Um, but yeah, thank you very much for watching the tattoo vlog. Let me know if you've got any tattoos down below and any tips you have about aftercare and making sure that it heals quickly and nicely. I'd love to know and hear about your experiences. Ours was really good, especially for our first time, which has made me more um, inclined to get another one. Um, like I wanted so yeah it's the weekend now so the next vlog you'll see will be up to stuff this weekend hopefully there'll be like a productive vlog as well as a like chilled one so yeah thank you very much for watching make sure you hit the thumbs up subscribe down below if you're new hit the bell notification to be notified every time I upload and I'll see you tomorrow for a new vlog bye, -bye.